Hello everyone, Mooch the Biker here, hope you're doing well. I guess you read the title, so let's jump right into it. Right after this. Disclaimer, I did record audio separately, so try not to freak out if my gestures and words sound and appear discombobulated. I bought these gloves a while back when I started to acquire riding gear and I'm so glad I got them because they're great. My palm measures exactly 8 inches around right where Scorpion says to measure and according to the size chart I am a size large so naturally that's what I ordered and they fit great. But remember, leather tends to break in so after a while they started to become loose. It does bother me a little but not enough to affect my riding and I'm still confident in the level of protection offered although it is something to consider while buying these gloves. To give you a reference of how good these gloves are, I used them while getting my rider training as a complete noob and I never once fumbled for the controls thanks to the outside stitching on these gloves, but more on that later. These gloves come in three colorways, red, black and white. I considered getting one of the other colors but I had this feeling that they wouldn't age well so I decided to go for the old black ones instead. Tell me down in the comments if you have one of the other colors and how they're holding up. I really would like to know. The first time I wore them they fit really well as I mentioned earlier although there was some pressure in the index and pinky finger on my right hand but after a while they smoothed out I guess because of breaking. There is some extra room in the index finger though so my finger kind of floats about which is concerning when I'm two fingering the levers but that just may be my physique so you can go ahead and ignore that. I've had them for almost 4 months and I've used them really well in the wet and dry and they seem to hold up really well. I haven't treated the leather yet but I may do that in a later video. I live in a pretty hot climate and I wore them while riding in a couple of intense sessions and the moisture wicking is really good which left my hands dry for the most part. The perforations help to ventilate the gloves and further increase the comfort by sucking out all the warm moist air leaving them really cool and comfortable. So I would definitely recommend them for warm climates, although my sessions were at least an hour long so results may vary. Nox is the name of the game when it comes to scaffold protection, which lets you slide when you fall palm first instead of your hands catching on asphalt which may torque your wrists and cause a really nasty break. These uh, features that are usually found in really high end gauntlets and uh, track gear but uh, you can find them here so I guess that's an advantage for us. The carbon fiber knuckle protects the back of your hand while the whole thing is nicely double stitched in full goatskin leather which offers really good abrasion resistance while being thin enough not to rob your feel on your controls and coupled with the outside stitching it's really comfortable when you're gripping on the handlebars it absorbs vibrations well and lets you feel the controls. There's also accordion stretch panels at the fingers which allows for maximum flexibility. I've put a link down in the description below where you can find them on Amazon for about $80 which is really affordable. Scorpion does need to check on their quality control but overall these are really good gloves and you would, you would not regret getting them. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe if this is your kind of content. Ride safe, ride smart.